Hey, so this is uh, video four of Div Four. Um, I switch this around real quick. I'm gonna do a sample data thing from Div Two first, and we're just gonna put all that sample data into the tables that we made. And um, at this point, you could actually type it in manually, or you could actually use the forms to generate it all for you. I prefer typing it in manually because it's faster and uh, it's easier for me at least. Uh, and you know you're going to get it right and it's not going to go away once you uh, run the program again or whatever. It's it's going to stay there. So it's just, you know, it's nice to know. See your, uh, so if we go to database one, the BE table, show table data. We only have one thanks right now. And if you go to your div2, my BE table looks like this. Yours looks different. It should look different. Um, but basically we're going to have... You're going to put it on all these values. See, I wonder if I can just kind of... Nah, probably not. Uh, you're going to have investor and all this other stuff. So let's see here. Uh, we don't want Yoda dog anymore. We're just going to take him out. Vester. Uh, Becker is my name. Games are us is my company business. Whoa. Oh, something can't be null, I bet. Oh. Oh, yeah, the login ID. So the login ID is now supposed to be unique. Dang. So it's got to be uh, something. It's got to be something, anything. This has to be, uh, you know, I could make it that, I guess. That's my login ID. Uh, video game. This is my supplier. And, uh,. The login ID for him was BGW. Um, Mr. Ear, Mr. Chaz Ear was my salesperson. His login ID is here, apparently. And then uh, Smith. And re really, these people don't even need login IDs, I don't think, but. Since you can't have null or you have to have unique values, then uh, I guess you have to have them. Unless you go to edit table schema, login ID, oh uh, yeah, hmm. that's something. Well, oh well. So then we have Martin, Bob Martin, is another customer, um, Edwards was another customer I put in. Oops, alright. Okay. Edwards, Steve. And Bob, 12. Bob Martin. And then Josh Ward. This is login ID was Josh1. Jenkins. Was Jenkins and this thing was uh, Hank Ten, I guess. And right was Will Thirty Two. Yeah, that's all you're gonna want to do. You're gonna not put in mine, of course, but you're gonna put in your own B sample data that you had in Div Two. Um, log ID for Investor could be Vester. His first name was N. This guy was Michael. This guy had none, which was Noel. Uh, Smith was Frank. This other guy was Bob. Uh, Ward was Josh. Jenkins was Hank. Wright was Will. And so you're going to want to put in all your stuff here. Um, yeah, password. Uh, I'm gonna type password. For now, at least, let's see. Games R Us can be password, wholesale password, password, and password. And you want to name it whatever you had in here, though. But for now, I'm going to have it like that. So you want to have this guy be 
investor. This guy's going to be uh, owner. This guy's going to be supplier. LLC, I guess. And he's going to be a uh, salesperson. And these guys can all be customer. I wish you could just... don't think you can. I don't know. Oh, well, you can do that too. Whoa! Let's go and delete that. One thing that's a little something to think about when you have your IDs 11, 12, 30, um, and they get out of order, you're going to have to change a little more later on, but that's fine. So let's see what we have here. It's uh, like your IDs right now are, you know, incremental, but when you do it in this, it's going to probably not be perfect. It's going to be that you deleted something here or there, but uh, we can fix that in the uh, thing I'll show you. It's a countdown. I never started it, did I? Nope. Well, let's see how much time we have. It's uh... ...378, Let's say it's 400. Let's just give us seven minutes. That's fine. Uh, back. Let's give us seven thirty. Start. Okay. Um, then uh, let's see. Then you want to go into your. Uh, you can go into your form authenticate user. And you set this up as let's say. As yourself. Okay. So Crazy Ninja Mike, uh, or whoever your username ID is, and then this guy is password. So that's just whatever the password is that you chose. Save it, exit out of that, don't need that right now, um, don't need that, don't need that. Now we go to the details, to sample data. And uh, I added a lot more than you, you probably did. Uh, I added quite a bit more than the uh, sample data he had. But um, you can go ahead and start adding it all in. And you're just going to add in whatever you added in yourself uh, for your div too. So show table data. And it's going to be, let's start doing it. One, one, two, two, uh, three, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and then four is one, two, three, four, five is one, two, six is one, two, three, four, seven is one, two, eight is one, two, three, nine is one, two, 10 is, oh, messed up there. 10, 10, one, whoa. Uh, done, let me change it for some reason. Oh man, did I go too fast or what? Let me go ahead and, I think I broke it. Hmm, damn. Oh, there we go. Okay, 10, there we go. Now that's 28. Oh, that's good. 29 is 11, 11, 12, 12. So 11, 11, 12, 12. And I broke it again. Hmm. That's nice. Show table data. Uh, GSID. Ooh. You know what we should do? Okay. Let's do orders first. Let's go into orders. So go back to order. Let's go to leave that as it is but show table data and orders let's see here uh, B ID of 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 
five two and accounting date let's see here six thirteen thousand eleven mm. so I'm gonna copy that and this next one was I had it as fourteen and then we added a couple of fifteens bunch of fifteens a lot of stuff happened that day I guess and we can't broke it again hmm. that's great Let's see boom boom all right and then type Let's see we have sales copy and then the other Let's see here. The next two would have been purchase orders. The next ones would be sales. Up until the last two was a work order. And, whoops, sales order. Nope, purchase order. And again, you're just trying to uh, put in whatever you had put into your div too so you're not really supposed to put in my data you're supposed to put in your data but you're supposed to just follow what I'm doing as in how you do it I guess maybe um, CR is negative one here negative one 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 negative one all the way to the last two And then entered by could be two 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 all five okay now you see all this how it says B I D now this was if it was incremental IDs everywhere all the time with the B E table and see like all these. So when I say BEID, and it shows uh, one, I meant BEID investor. So now I need to go back to my BE table and double check that BEID one is investor. If it was, let's say this said 27, I would need to go into my orders table and change this to 27, you see? Um, and but it's fine for it seems fine though it looks good uh bid2 bit2 i meant to say michael becker and so bid2 is michael becker good we got it, that one right uh bid3 three, three was games r us games r us what is games r us id is 7 so copy and paste that, and you actually put 7 in as uh, 3. If we see any more 3's, we can go and change it right now, but we don't. Uh, 4 uh, was supposed to be this one, so that's supposed to be 8. So we're going to change that. 5 was supposed to be Chaz. We're going to change that over here to... That's our cashier. Our, yeah, Chaz here. <laughs> Uh, Frank, customer. It's gonna be ten, eleven. So let's see, that's supposed to be one, two, three, four, five, six. It's supposed to be number six. So a six can change to ten, and eleven with seven, fourteen with eight, fifteen with nine, sixteen with ten, seventeen. 11. And then 5 was actually supposed to be uh, Chaz again. So you see, it's supposed to be 9. And I'm going to continue with the next video.